contestants. Firstly, and introducing to you, he's fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing the white trunks trimmed with red. He weighed in at 11 stone, 13 and a quarter pounds, and brings an undefeated professional record of 18 contests, 18 wins, 8 by way of knockout. He's a former 1992 Olympian. He's now based in Atlanta, Georgia, USA. Would you please welcome Mr. Showtime, Chris Johnson. And ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the red corner. He's wearing the famous Graham Tartan trunks. He weighed in at 11 stone and 12 pounds and brings an amazing 51 fight record. 46 wins, 27 by way of knockout. Only five defeats. He is the former British and Commonwealth and European light middleweight champion. Former British and European middleweight champion. Here he is. He's from Sheffield, the Bomber. Sky fans joining us here on Big Time Boxing. This is 12 premium rounds of boxing for the vacant WBC International Super Middleweight Championship. So there's Terry, Terry Connor from uh, Birmingham, the referee, former heavyweight, of course, as you can see. But this could be some smart boxing, we hope, from uh, Harold Graham, but be prepared for some power punching from Chris Johnson. It's a bit of a, well, a make or break in many ways because Graham would really get himself into some big money fights with a good win over this one because I know he's rated uh, in America. So there we go. Then. Well, that was nice there. He pulled an old man trick right from the first bell so he yeah. still got some moves. Yeah. He, he showed the right hand as though he was touching gloves and smacked a little <laughs> left hand through. It's only because he's got tartan shorts on, Jim, I know. Oh, he's, he got, he's got to watch that throwing, you know. The, he actually got points taken away from him in throwing in a fight. So that was a first little sign there, just how, how quick he was to grab hold then. I mean, normally at one time there, they would be dancing away from a move like that, but uh, he has to hold a little bit more. But he'll, I mean, a real class act, he always was. up his mind which stance he's going to take him. Well, er Errol never did things by the book at any time, Reg. Always come up with something special. Oh dear, mind the lights, Johnson, with that miles away, that punch. He'll tease him a bit, uh, Ram, but I mean, dare I say, he did this with Julian Jackson in Spain and then got really flattened. He's winning that fight going away. Solid punches, I mean, the game's punches in the first round, not bad, Reg. No, exactly. He's got, he's got some terrific short punches, though, Johnson, isn't he? Real American style stuff. Look at that, that's, that's the way to swivel away from trouble. Well, Graham's using his legs, which is good news. I mean, he doesn't want to stand that split second too long. Just measure the range and make this fellow make some mistakes. Chin out nicely, out of harm's way. He, he makes them all look a bit indifferent, doesn't he, Graham, in opening rounds like this? It takes a while for any of his opponents to tumble him. Yeah, well, he's certainly confusing Johnson in the first round. Excellent first round so far from Bomber. And certainly the crowd are with him. Let's hope there doesn't come a point in the fight when he wishes he was with the crowd. Well, let's give him a chance. Oh, that's good I mean, shot. That's good stuff. I mean, that's, look, that's just leaning back from the, yeah, the jab Jim, and bang. He even acknowledged that, didn't he, Johnson? He said, oh, that was all right. That, you know, I, I accept that. Yeah, a little bit of quality about that little move. Good first round from Bomber Graham.
So let's have a look at uh, Spencer Oliver's gesture. And there he is in full flight already. Well, uh, it'd be nice to see Spencer a little bit more experience. This will be a tough one for him tonight, but I think he'll probably get through on just sheer enthusiasm and talent. Second round now. Can Graham keep up the, the fancy dance stuff that he's so good at? And keep this very dangerous puncher away. Well, I think Johnson's corner, I've told, told him, Reggie, has to put uh, Graham under more pressure. He allowed him too much room in the first round, and Bomber took full, the full use of that. But I tell you, Johnson's going to face things tonight, Reggie, that he's never seen before. Oh, absolutely. So we'll have to see how he copes with that. Main thing is now, Bomber, you know, he, he could dig a bit when he was at his best, and he, he, he can't expect really to tap dance his way for 12 rounds with this fellow. He's got to land some solid punches to keep him off, and, and of course win the fight. Well, Reg, see if he spends the first couple of rounds just annoying this guy, making him frustrated and make some mistakes, then that would be nice also if he can nick the rounds in the bag as he's done the first round. Yeah. This is exactly what you would want him to do. Just annoy the fellow, frustrate him, and just uh, pin him on the counters, get a couple of rounds behind him. And also nice if you can finish the round with a couple of solid wax, just to give him something to think about during the break. When he gets around in those twirl arounds on the ropes, and he's as slippery as an eel, isn't he, Graham? Yeah, and John Johnson's doing the wrong things here, Reggie. Standing off, trying to slip uh, Graham's lead, but when Graham puts the lead out, if it doesn't land, he moves back. Thing is, he's not, he's not really moving the head much, though, uh, Graham. He's standing up, but he's got his head stuck up a bit. Yeah, yeah, but he's using that wide stance, yeah. Reggie. He's ready at all times just to step back out of range. That, that stance is wide. See, there he goes, back out of range. He, he's got this down to a fine arc. Johnson's a smart boxer, Reg. He's trying to think of a smart way to get past that southpaw jab, and I don't know if there is such a thing. Oh, he keeps tapping him in the face like that. It's like a Chinese water torture, that, isn't it? He'll have to put pressure on Graham. He can't do this from long range. And good news for our man, that that's what he's trying to do. He's throwing again. It's, it's an old habit, that. See, the thing about Graham Reg, he knows instantly when he's made a mistake. So he does something naturally, and sometimes it's throwing his opponent, sometimes it's grabbing his opponent. But as soon as he makes a slip, he knows instantly, and that's how he reacts to it. So you're just going to have to put up with it, the odd throw. Johnson's still standing off, Reg. Yeah, he's, he's, he's getting frustrated very easily here, I'm afraid, Johnson. Only got a couple of experienced guys there. Freddie King has worked with some top fighters when he's at Match Room, and uh, Dean Powell now runs his own gymnasium. There's, have a look at those punch stacks there. It's, it's quite amazing, really. The thing with Graham is that the, the great Willie Pep world champion once reckoned he, he won a round without throwing a punch, and you often wonder whether Graham thinks he can do that as well on defensive alone. Well, the good news so far, Reg, is that Johnson has allowed Graham to set the early pace. He's allowed him to control the pace, and that's a big mistake. I know he has plenty of time. It's a championship match, a lot of long way to go. But a good, a good start from Graham, first couple of rounds. Made the semi-finals in the Barcelona Olympics, Johnson. Lost an American bird, Fish bird. So, it's, you know, he's been in a lot of quality, but as you say, it, it's... How do you explain to an opponent uh, that's never seen Graham at work? You, you may have seen him on tape, of course, but, you know, what are you supposed to do with this? Sort of charge at him and hope for the best? Or just wait until he tires a bit, possibly? Well, I always, my, my rule always was, Reggie, if it was an awkward opponent, uh, you forced them to make the first move, you showed them a little feint just to get them to make the first move and then you could maybe capitalise on that and certainly, but even, you don't know if that would work with Graham, he knows all the tricks. 
See, that's what I'm saying about not bothering to even properly land punches here, Graham. It's just making a trying to make not an exhibition because that's the way he fights. But I'd just like to see him connect a bit more solidly as well. Well, keep in mind, uh, Graham goes in with a full 12-round uh, campaign in his mind. He doesn't worry about individual rounds. I mean, he's, he's not thrown too many punches here. But what's noticeable, Johnson has realised he has to change the tempo, and that's what he's trying to do. Maybe, maybe Johnson's made up his mind, and I'll catch up with this guy eventually, you know, but you never know this, but it could be too late to keep doing that. See, Graham, he's really been waving the jab in this round. It's, you can really call them punches, what he's been doing, but he's been stopping Johnson from landing. So he'll be quite happy with this round. He really has been about the bomber. That's comes from running, by the way, I think, that expression uh, with him, not pun punching power. But he's, he's, he's more like a ring Houdini, really, isn't he? He slips out of everything. Oh! Oh, that was, that was smart of Graham there. No count. He's called it a no count. Well, I don't know why he got involved then, Reg, if it's a no count. Maybe he just wanted to wait the gloves. If it's a no count, then he should have let them box on, and Bomber had set up a little attack there. I like the way he threw those punches there. He sees the opportunity. That's what I've been saying. I'd like to see him connect with, you know, hard. At, that's good. <laughs> well, that was a good round, Reg. Have a look at there. Yeah, that was just a stumble. That wasn't yeah. a clean punch. That but that's the way that. he came back to him. Look. Well, that's it. I think the referee should have left him to it there. Yeah, exactly. It, it wasn't a knockdown. There was no reason to break the action. Well, it was, as you said earlier, I think just a dust of gloves. There, there, there isn't any rosin in the ring anyway these days. Oh, there, there, ah, there, there, there's the man who said, well, can he spoil this great record of Spence Oliver there? Paul Bland, the Frenchman. Yeah, well, he's certainly going to give him a tough match. I mean, this this guy has boxed at a quality level, Reg. A couple of good results behind him. An unfortunate result against Bill Castro. This is a tough little nut. I would have been happier if this fight came a year later for Oliver, but uh, hopefully his talent and his enthusiasm, as I say, will get him through it. Out for the fourth round and uh, first blood to ground because Johnson's nose was bleeding when he got back to the corner there. No chance of stopping the fight for that, I don't think. But, uh, get worse with little scuffles in the school playground these days. Well, there's the punches landing on the on our stats man there, and Graham in command, isn't it? On a couple of right hands getting through now from Johnson. He's, uh, he's getting a little bit closer just at the beginning of this round. But uh, Graham, just, if he can, just keep frustrating him for another couple of rounds. See, Graham will also test a man's courage that hasn't been tested before because uh, Johnson's going to have to take some punches to land some punches tonight. Graham's boxing well. Really, his timing's good, his technique's good, so this fellow's going to have to take some shots to get himself into this fight, and we'll see if he's prepared to do that or not, just uh, how brave he is. There you go, Jim. There's... Uh Quite right, he'll score. Yeah, well, the third round was a little bit close, but I just thought a defensive boxing from Graham and, and a couple of little attacks that he did set up. Johnson landed virtually nothing, so just leaned slightly towards Graham in the third round there, but it was a close one. This, 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 these things, you know, the fight game shouldn't be all about aggression. The Americans and the ruling bodies, they keep saying to their judges, you know, go with the aggression, but you, the defensive stuff must count. signs of the uh, frustration coming from Johnson yeah. now he's getting that little bit that was erratic. inevitable yeah sure and that's exactly what uh, Graham wants uh, he becomes annoyed he'll make some mistakes well he turned him in the corner there but that was a work of art that swapping punches turned him in the corner and Johnson th thought well I better not throw any back this fellow's making a, a bit of a mug of me 
Bert, just a reminder of yours. I mean, this is a good fighter that Graham's doing this with tonight. Absolutely. This is not a novice. This, oh. is, this is a class fighter that people have got big hopes for. Yeah, he's got a lot of American backing at the moment. And there are the solid shots Graham putting in now. He looks much better than uh, he's looked in the two previous comeback fights there, as if he, he pumped himself up for this one. Well, he's obviously been worried about this one, Reggie. He knows this guy commands respect. See, no clean punches there, cuffing punches from Johnson. He just can't find the target cleanly. Lovely defensive boxing again from Earl Graham. Really a master. Well, absolutely masterclass stuff, wasn't it, Down, This fellow's going to be easily frustrated. Jim? Yeah, well, erratic. See, look, there it goes then, and bingo, he's back in again. Yeah, see, see, Johnson's raised the pace, but he still can't solve this man up. So if he raises the pace with nothing special, then Graham will pick him to pieces. And he sort of shrugged at the end of that uh, fourth round there, Graham, as if to say, hey, I'll, even I like that. Just wiping the corner a bit. There's a lot of water there. They're patching up uh, Johnson's nose. Hello, what kind of signals that we're getting from, uh, from Graham? I mean, this is like something you would do with a little kid in the gymnasium. Just pat yeah. him on the head and annoy him. And... Which he's very good at, of course. He does that all the time in the, in the gymnasium. So yeah. many people have copied his act as well. Well, I'd like to see this race for another round or two. And then a couple of solid shots from Graham, and we'll find out just how much character uh, this guy Johnson has, because he's getting a little bit fed up here, a little bit frustrated. We're almost here, Graham, saying, hey, how do you like that? I can't miss you. Now he's turned to Southpaw, and that's, <laughs> that's just about the silliest thing he could do. Yeah. Right? But he's got to do what he's good at. He's going to take his best work to solve this fellow out. He doesn't want to be turning to Southpaw. Oh. That was a good shot in return, yeah. Reggie. The, the better shot was from Johnson. Yeah, there. it was a bit slappy, maybe, Jim. It made a lot of noise, but certainly I wouldn't want to take it. Yeah, he's, he fancies the Southpaw stacks and uh, Johnson, didn't he? Well, I thought it was a mistake, but yeah. who knows? We'll see. Johnson still allowing Graham to control the pace, Reg, and that's the biggest mistake he's making tonight. Oh, oh, I just don't want to see Graham get, well, overconfident. Then again, it is confidence that makes him such a good boxer. Yeah, well, the, the good thing is, Reg, and the one who really looked confident as they came into the ring was Johnson. But not now, it's changing a little bit. Graham seems to have grown in confidence. Well, that, oh. that was that right hand again. That was the same one that clipped him earlier. Thankfully, he didn't go over there. That was the same right hand, Reg. The South Boss stands, believe it or not, is troubling Graham now. Maybe lighting the litmus paper a little bit there for the dynamite to happen. He's in trouble a bit there, Graham. Yeah, the better shots now. Yeah, he's hanging on a bit. He's entitled to take a shot or two, Jim, after the praise that certainly I gave Johnson anyway coming into the ring. Yeah, well, good pressure now from Johnson. This is what he's lacked in the first few rounds. Good, yeah. steady, solid pressure. Had a good round there, Jim Johnson. Finished, he finished it up in the way that I thought he would fight the whole way through. He just, he, he just could not fathom uh, Graham out at all, but maybe he's starting to catch up with him. Let's have a look at the replay. See, since he turned to Southpaw, which I thought would be a mistake against uh, a tricky customer, but that was the first little right-hand clip. Uh, but Graham, you, you would think he'd be on the lookout for that, but no, caught that the second one was even more solid, almost put him over. Thankfully, he stayed upright there, the rope saved him. Not in any serious trouble, but uh, that was certainly Johnson's Don't best round so far. Errol, keep nice and compact. Don't go sloppy, Errol. You've been there before. 
He's going into unknown territory now, there, all right? All you've got to do is hold it together, son. Now, come on, concentration. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Yeah, well, that's about the right thing, isn't it? Concentration. You've been there before, he hasn't. And uh, don't get sloppy. I think that would be understood. Meanwhile, they're waving the towel, not throwing in the towel, by the way, in the corner there to get a bit of fresh air. Round six, then, WBC International Super Middleweight Championship. Vacant title. Jim? It's about right. Three yeah, uh, well, up. Uh, Johnson yeah. allowed the Graham yeah. in the first few rounds to control the pace, but uh, he's getting that little bit closer now. I think Earl wants a warning there. He was on the floor, and uh, Bomber let a couple of punches go, but not the referee's leaving that alone. Uh, yeah, he said don't count. It was a slip. He yeah, it was a slip. The judge there, the but I thought the Bomber threw a couple of punches while Oh, yeah. Time. No, he should, he should have, you know, just come a little finger wagging anyway. dropping his hand as well I, I, mean, I think the corner man was right there to say don't get too sloppy at all and you know show off too much see this is where Johnson should be able to raise the pressure he's not putting Graham under any pressure Graham's controlling the pace controlling the way the fight's going and that's the last thing you want to do with Bomber Graham Left hook or almost swing from Johnson actually brushed over Graham's right shoulder just as well. Oh, that one didn't. See, Graham's standing his ground a bit more now, Reg, and I don't know, I think it's too early to do that. Johnson's still strong, still yeah, enthusiastic. He is, a, is a, you know, he's a correct hitter in many ways, Johnson, Jim. You know, he's got some power there, but it's because Graham's always moving away or trying to move away that it's nullifying that a little bit. You see, Johnson's not pressurising them, Reg. You have to find a way to pressurise Errol Graham. If you stand off and let him dictate things, then you're going to get a boxing lesson. Of course it's going to come down to stamina. Well, you'd worry about a man of 37 like Graham, but... It looks to me as though Johnson is, you know, it's, I don't know whether that's just a mannerism, but he looks a bit, not tired, Jim, but, well, maybe frustrated, sums it up. Well, I think what's happening, Reg, is when you get into the ring expecting something to happen yeah, in a exactly. fight, expect to be the top man, and you find you're not the top man, and you're having to struggle, and you've got a guy in front of you who's just giving you nothing but problems, then you get that look in your face. This is not what I came in here for. Exactly, yeah, you've summed it up right there. He's trying to claim the centre of the ring for a change here, Harold Brown. That's, that's a smart move. He doesn't need all that rope stuff, really. He's still controlling the pace. He's still got that problem with the bloodied nose there, uh, Chris Johnson. He's got a headache as well with the opponent, and there's the, the update on the statistics once more. And, uh, well, Brown just ahead there, isn't he? And certainly on landed punches. The referee will actually score in this one. You make it a bit confusing, all these rules, with uh, two other English judges. No, that's... It might be a board in the, in the ring there or something on the canvas. That was just an ordinary stumble. See, I feel, Reg, that Johnson, by now, should be saying, right, I'm going to have to take some punches to get up to this guy to get close to inflict some damage. And we're now going to find out if he's prepared to do that. Some classy boxers, Reg, are not too keen on taking punches. They want to do things the classy way, the easy way. So it's time now for Johnson to do it the hard way. We'll see if he's prepared, see if he's got the, the little bit of heart that's required. wonderful boxer from Graham. Look, he's, he's just withstood a fairly vicious attack. 
from Johnson, and now he's just pulled him back like a schoolboy. And little signs now of Johnson doesn't quite like this, Red, just what I'm saying. No, we, How much thicker has he got? Yeah, we tumbled that early on, Jim. There was a certain look about him, a funny language, if you like, as if to say, hey, what have I got here? Not what I expected. And uh, he's been guilty of an erratic performance or two in the past, I'm told. I haven't seen that. See, this is not supposed to be an easy game, Reg, and if you get into the ring thinking you're going to have an easy night and it goes the other way, it's not always easy to find that little spot. And there he's walked right onto a lovely left hand. Beautiful boxing from Bomber Graham here. Just doesn't want to get careless. Still Johnson not exerting any pressure. And seemingly doesn't know how, Jim. It's no use waiting with this, uh, you know, ground to that tire completely. He's not going to. Graham's showing off now, Reggie. He's taking the mickey out of him, that little oh, yeah. flurry there. But you just don't want Earl to get too flash. Remember the Julian Jackson, everything was under control that night, and one big bomb. I know this fellow doesn't punch like that, but uh, you don't want to give him his confidence back. Just keep him in place. Still a few rounds to go yet. A lovely punch. That was the way his body swayed there and unleashed that left hook, or almost a swing, I suppose. Crowd are on their feet here. And he's saying, walk towards me, Terry O'Connor. He doesn't quite understand that, but uh, this fella's going to get nailed, nailed here. This is going to be a real upset, I promise you. We know, we know Graham was the great form man over the years, but this was the new hot, new kid on the block well, that's going to show him away. Guys. We'll give him some credit. He's coming back. Yep. Yeah, he, fought, he just tried to fight his way out of it there. It looked all over by this tremendous shouting at the Olympia. Oh dear, that was some road there. Watch this, he slips aside, comes back again, and then look, bingo, bump, that's the one. Yeah, and a couple of signs just before the knockdown that maybe the job was done as though Johnson was beginning to lose heart a little bit. And then bang, picked the perfect time to land the perfect punch. Got to give Johnson some credit. He came back well, Reg. Yeah, he did. Boom, lovely punch. He enjoyed himself there, Graham. I don't blame him. Up went the hands. I think he was always going to get up, wasn't he? And coming back, he... Lovely punch. Yeah, and then Bomber it. didn't go crazy, Reg, when he got up. He tried to pick his punches to finish, but he just ran out of time. Yeah, this is this is at the end, Jim, when he started to come back, Johnson. Yeah, and full credit. He came back. He's yeah. tired. He's frustrated, but he came back well. Eighth round. 12 stone division. See, now, you, you wonder whether he's going to say Johnson in his mind, now, come on, I've got to get stuck in here. But now that he's been on the, on the deck, Jim, and there's your card again, and, uh, well, it makes it very clear victory so far. But there's... Uh, Still a lot to happen yet, but it's, it's a, nice to have all those rounds in the bank on our card anyway. Well, the one thing you shouldn't do with Bomber Graham is back off from him. He'll pick you to pieces, and that's what's going to happen right now. You can't walk away from Bomber Graham. You have to go forward. I just hope he doesn't miss with a shot and nail our cameraman on the ropes there. It's, no, he's too accurate for that, Graham. This guy, Reg, is totally confused. He's going to put his hopes now in single hard shots. He's going to cover up and just let a couple of bombs go, so Graham just wants to be a little bit careful, which I'm sure he is. He's tried everything, he can't get close, so he's going to start banking on big single shots. In the previous comeback fights, there was all sorts of talk after about the loss of reflex a lot with Graham, but, but it hasn't shown here. See, Johnson, hand it to him, Reg, he knows what's required now. He's trying to exert some pressure, get the punches out. This is what he must do. Oh dear, and he, he's, he's anchored himself to the canvas with his feet there, Johnson, as he throws those whacks in. He's taking them well. He should never have allowed Graham to control the pace for as long as he did. Graham shouldn't be as, as strong here. And that's uh, down to the fact that he's controlling things. So he just won't move that necessarily inches forward there, Graham. He doesn't want to get tagged. He just wants to play it his way and score. And Johnson's totally confused. And fed up, I suspect. 
Yeah, he's, he's, just look, he's looking for an opening for that. Yeah. Here it comes. That's all he's looking for. That single shot to turn it around. I dare say they keep shelling in his corner. Ju Julian Jackson could do it. So can you. But he's leaning back on the ropes, Reg. He's going to lose power. That's when that's when Graham should step in with solid punches. When Johnson was leaning back on the ropes, all his power was gone. Graham should have moved in with some shots there. Lovely punch. Oh, that's there the it is. He's his legs buckled there. Graham's put it. It's all over. Graham's put it that. What a victory in the eighth round for a man that a lot of people thought, is this going in too high after four years, eight, what is it, four years out of the ring he had? Yes, he did, uh, Harold Graham. Had two ordinary comeback fights, didn't win a lot of rave notices, and he's got one of the hot shots of the game. There's a lot of investment in America for Chris Johnson, and it doesn't come up for him tonight. An overwhelming victory from Harold Graham. Reg, the man is definitely, without doubt, a master. The signs were there. Johnson was losing a little bit of heart. Standing target, he was leaning back on the ropes, really lost most of his ambition, and Graham just picked the perfect time to unload a couple of solid shots, stepped back, saw the damage, moved back in again, and finished the job. A master at work. See, the job was done by this time, Reg. The guy totally confused, didn't know what to do, and he just finished the job perfectly. Well, the bomber man is back in the big time again because this will be noted, I'll tell you that, in America. And uh, getting this championship, it's the international, admittedly it's for those below the top ten, but now puts him back probably in the top ten and will warrant uh, a crack at any world championship that he could get. There. Ladies and gentlemen, two minutes and 40 seconds of the eighth round. The referee has stopped the contest. The new WBC International Super Middleweight Champion from the beautiful city of Sheffield, Hulk Bomber And ladies and gentlemen, well, please show your that says it all, doesn't it? The pictures tell the story there. The, 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 the belt's on, and uh, he, he's thrilled about it all. That and. Here's the stoppage now. Well, as I say, the, the, the job was done. He'd broken his heart, totally confused his mind, and now it was time, in with the solid shots. And Many people had written you off before the fight, but you gave him a boxing lesson, didn't you? Yes, I sure did. Uh, the people here tonight, they really spurred me on, other than my corner. And I'd like to thank everybody in this audience. Thank you very much. I mean, he was an unbeaten fighter. Many people thought this was the end of the road for your comeback, but you said the trickery will still be there. End of the bloody road? What do you mean, end of the road? I'm not an old man, you know. No, no end of the road at all. I, it was a mishap. I got back from it, and now, hence, the WBC Intercontinental Champion. Congratulations. Could there still be a world title shot in Errol Graham? Definitely, with Maloney around. Gordon Bennett, of course. Who do you want, most of all? Which one out there? Anybody. Absolutely anybody. It doesn't matter who. Some Collins, Parvey, any, anybody, honestly. It doesn't really matter. I haven't got long left, and I want to get a world championship under my belt now. Well, congratulations. A fantastic night for you. Thank you, audience. Thank you very much for your support. I think it's what Harold Graham did to spark the audience up that really got the night going there at Olympia. What a boost to 37-year-olds everywhere, including myself. Graham is...